It's easy to create XY plots in MATLAB. Let's take a look at some of these basic ideas. I'm going to start by creating a script called plots. This will make it easy to capture commands and then build up the script and kind of keep running it as we make progress and see how the plots look. I'm going to plot what is called a Lisa Zhu curve. This is a style of parametric plot and the parameter is p. It's a value that runs between 0 and 2 pi and I'll use a spacing or interval of pi over 100. p is a one-dimensional array. Now my x and y variables are both based on this parameter. I'll say x is sine of p and y is cosine of p. The idea of the parametric plot is to plot one function against the other. The MATLAB function is plot. We give it the independent variable first, that's x, comma, and then the dependent variable. Let me say axis square, so that way we've got the same scaling on both axes. And we see that it's plotted a circle. I'm going to dock the figure so we can always see that figure as we make updates to the script. Add a grid to make it easier to interpret numerical values from the plot. And then you can also add the desired labels on both the x-axis and the y-axis using x-label and y-label. Here we see those two strings, x-axis and y-axis. And there's a corresponding technique for the plot title. All right, that looks good. Let me show you how you can add additional curves to a given plot. There's two ways of doing this. Let me first begin by defining an additional dependent variable. So call the original one y1 and the new dependent variable y2. First method, simply do a comma and then add an additional xy pair and then the new curve shows up here in green. Let me delete that and then show you the second method. Start by issuing the plot command and then issue the hold command where you say hold on. Now any subsequent plots automatically overplot without disturbing the original plot. Now let's take a look at different ways that you can control the way that the curves appear. Here you can adjust the color of the line, you can adjust the point style, and then you can also control the line style. And you do this by forming a string that you add after the x and y variables. For example, that's how you make the curve red. Here's how you can change the point style. You simply extend that string. If I undock it, you can see the points a little bit more clearly. The line style, let's try a couple examples here. Try the dash first. Dash actually is solid. If we do double dash, then that gives us a dashed line. I'm going to close and rebuild that figure so you can see that a little bit more clearly. All right, there you've got a couple different ways of creating multiple curves on the same plot. Let me adjust the title while, while I'm thinking about that. All right, next I'd like to show you how you can control the axis limits. For example, right now the x-axis runs between minus one and plus one, and the same thing for the y-axis. Now I'm going to call the axis function and save its output to variable a. The first two values are the x limits from lower end to upper end. The last two values are the y axis limits. And again, we see the minus one and plus one. So here's how you can adjust the axis limits yourself. I'm going to replace the first two entries of array a, that is index values one and two, I'm going to replace that with a uh, array of values, minus 2 to 2, and then I say axis of, and then I specify that variable a, 
and that gives me the adjustment to the x-axis while also setting the y-axis limits again. You can also use xlim and ylim to control each axis limit independently.